We're going to be trying to create a custom galaxy in the new Universe Sandbox update. Alright, so right off the bat we're going to change the color of the background. And I think we're going to do purple this time. That's part of the new update, I believe. So, yeah, we're going to use that. Wow. That actually looks kind of cool. I'm not the biggest fan of purple normally, but yeah, we're going to use that. I think I used green last time, if I'm not mistaken, but see, last time I used Sagittarius A as the main black hole. It's good that we can see it here now with the uh, colored background. So we're going to add some stars to this and we can see here that it's running. It's cool when you go with this close. Look at that. It looks like an eye. That is so sick. Just the light bending around it. Well, actually, we should do the sun later on because it's not that close in our galaxy. This might be like a mini galaxy compared to like the Milky Way, but that's just the star. We got Proxima Centauri just chilling there. That's pretty cool. So we're now going to add like Beetlejuice. So we're going to zoom out for this one. We could add a bunch too. Doesn't have to be just one. <laughs> All right. So there's one, two, three, uh, four. There we go. Okay. That looks cool. So we're going to go with Alpha Centauri. One, two, three, four. We'll just do four of each for now and then see what we could do to add on to it. One, two, three, four. Oh God, I am really, five? Okay, I'm just trying to fill it out a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna do Vega. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, oh, four, I believe there. Okay, that's good. We could do Beetlejuice, that's a bigger one-ish. How big is this one? Okay, 11 times the mass of the sun. Nice. All right, one, two, three, Four. Okay, I'm just worried that it's gonna get like too close because like these ones are pretty close actually We're not gonna go full galaxy size just because that would take too long But we could do more here on Tares and now we could probably do the Sun. So there it is one two three four Four suns. Look at this line of stars. That's so cool. And then we just got Proxima Centauri as the closest. That's actually pretty cool. We're going to speed this up as fast as we can. Oh god, here we go. We're going to zip in time. Whoa, okay, everything's going. I like how the lines are now, like, glowing a bit more. Let's see how fast this new one can go, because that's part of the update. Oh, can't go any faster. Okay, that's fine. Look at how slow these stars are going compared to, like, more inward. Oh god. I don't know if I can look at that too much. <laughs> There's Sagittarius, just chilling. Look at that. We could pull up a galaxy just to get a size comparison. It's probably nothing compared to what we got here, but we could add more to it. We can add more. Oh yeah, see, we have to zoom out quite a bit. So we could put it there for now. There's our tiny, tiny little galaxy compared to the Grand Milky Way. Oh, I don't know if we can go any faster than that. Okay, that's fine. It's telling me no, it can't. It's so weird how much slower these ones are going. Yeah, if like someone in the comments knows, or I'll probably look it up later and I'll put it on the screen, how long it takes for the sun to orbit our galaxy once. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'll look it up for you guys after. But this is insane. And there is the Grand Milky Way. <laughs> this is, we could actually probably find a star cluster here. M32, okay. So ours is sort of like M32, not quite. Maybe this one, 111 light years, Jesus. Okay, it's, that's a bit more, yeah, that's a bit more like this one that we got right here. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll just exit out of that. These Beetlejuice ones are still going, as this is going as fast as we can. That is a weird angle. Oh god, we're like underneath it. That's so cool. These stars are just whizzing around at like five years per second. We're already at 800 years into this galaxy's life cycle. That is stupid. <laughs> that's hilarious though. How far out are these? Okay, there's Beetlejuice, Alpha, Rigel. I cannot pronounce this one either. <laughs> God, someone in the comments let me know. And it is like a mini galaxy cluster, which is pretty cool that we got it to that sort of level. Now that we have these ones, we could compare it probably to uh, M32. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. So we can use this as a reference to how big this one is with these ones here and then these ones out here. It's still nowhere near the same amount of stars as this M32. Isn't this like just outside the uh, Milky Way galaxy? It kind of looks so weird with the orange next to the purple. That is a little bizarre. Oh god. But yeah, there is our galaxy. I do take suggestions, so feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll definitely get around to it in a short or something. Or in a video like this as well. This was cool. I haven't done this in a while, but yeah, this actually worked. Jeez, that is actually... Oh, you know what? I want to see if this if our galaxy will collide with this M32 here. We're already a thousand years in. Over a thousand years in. That's crazy. Here we go. Okay, here we go in three, two, one. 
Go. Oh, it's gone. I don't know what happened, but it's gone. The uh, black hole from the cluster is still there, though, it looks like. Did we lose any of the stars? Doesn't look like it. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and a thumbs up if you like this sort of content. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll see you in the next one.